Yeah, you should have, I believe it was like 17 hit points you got. 70 plus like 70? And then I gave I have, him, I gave him hit points. I, and then I gave him uh, another 15. Oh yeah, and then I've leveled up my health. So I should be at 104. Ability check with which I am proficient, I can now just take 10. Nice. If I roll lower than 10. You roll lower than Yeah, I was kind of disappointed that in 5th edition they, they didn't continue on with the take 10, take 20. Oh, yeah. Although, it's one of those things that. I don't know. I guess it's superfluous because you don't. I don't know why you needed a rule for that in the first place. Given enough time, sooner or later somebody's going to roll high enough to, you know. It's that rule. But it means I can no longer fail any ability checks right. that I'm proficient with. Well, and here's the other thing about the take 20, for instance. The first thing that every edition has said is that just because you get a natural 20 does not mean that you automatically succeed because that doesn't. It's not supposed to count for. Ability checks or skill checks. So what does so what does it matter if you take twenty, which assumes that given enough time you will get a natural twenty. That may not be high enough with your skill score to succeed. <laughs> so. Aha! Like, I've almost got yeah. this. Yeah. Oh well. well. You're supposed to have. Uh, I mean, I personally have always done away with that. A nat twenty and a nat one are just as uh, equally critical. It doesn't matter what you're doing. You have to be more rigorous on the rounding rolls because if you're facing a god and you decide you want to try something and roll a 20, it shouldn't work. No, I, mm, I mean, it, it will work. It just may not work the way you intended it to work. Is the way I always thought of it. And not only that, but the reason why I always counted a, a, a nat 20, no matter what, is a success is because if, as a DM, if you're creating DCs that are so high that with a nat 20 plus the ability score that they wouldn't be able to succeed, then what they it shouldn't even have been brought up to begin with. <coughs> it's just as easy for the DM to say, no, you can't do that. It's, it's typically impossible. Makes more sense than having DC 40. Right. You know, like, well, if it's or DC even, 40, it's practically impossible. I, I don't think that. that I've assigned a DC over 25 yeah, ever. And it just 25 make any sense is. To. Yeah, it's stupid. 25 is exceptionally difficult. I mean. Yeah, 30 is supposed <coughs> to be nearly impossible. Right. In which case. Whatever. Right. Have a really high proficiency, but like yeah, if you yeah. do really poorly die roll. Right. Yeah. I mean, the die roll can always be bad. Mm. Them some old chips. Whatever. They lost for what year? Twenty twenty. Because they're lazy, you know. It might be like lazy. Right. Remember, right. <laughs> right. at this point, I was when I learned out that Twinkies actually did have a shelf. Oh, what? Twinkies did have a what? Twinkies actually do have a shelf life. But at some point, they it's do outrageous. It's some like be. ten or fifteen years or something yeah. stupid, but yeah. It's one of the very few foods that are made from strictly from the oil. Yes. Drilled from the earth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can bring them out into your gas tank. <laughs> Like a sponge. Okay, well, we don't have any gas, but we have like 25. Oh, I got gas. <laughs> yeah. If you need to get high, just open up our trunk. It's true. <laughs> so, yes, but we have 25 years of Twinkies. In a zombie apocalypse, I ask you which is more important. Twinkies. Right. 100% Twinkies. Well, it depends on whether or not you ask, uh, what's his name? Daryl? No. Rip? Not in the Walking Dead. Uh, Zombieland. Uh, all the characters in 
zombie land obsessed with fucking Twinkies. Yeah. Woody, Woody Harrelson's character. Woody Harrelson's character. Yeah. yeah. That was the first thing we did when we got, we got a deep fryer for our wedding, and <laughs> uh, that's a wedding gift. And the first thing I did was deep fry Twinkies. Yeah. That's what you have to do. My wife's like, "No, you're not doing that." I'm like, uh, I'm doing super it. Super am. <laughs> I super am doing it. <laughs> so doing it. <laughs> <laughs> and then she was, and then and then I introduced her to deep fried bacon, and she's like, "No, that." Oh my god, that just sounds like it's gonna clog your arteries. I'm like, I know, that's why it's delicious. <laughs> and and she's like, no, you can't do that. And then I did it, and she's like, oh god, I never want to eat bacon another way again. I'm like, I told you. <laughs> fried cheese curds. I'm into that. Yeah. Fried what? Fried curds. Mm-hmm. Deep fried pickles. Deep, just deep frying, you know, like your piece of the piece of paper probably tastes good. Dude. In the south, they deep fry ice cream. I'm not. I'm not exaggerating. Mm-hmm. I remember deep fried ice like cream a is a staple in every Mexican food restaurant in the south. Mm-hmm. How how does that work though? It's, I I have not quite of, determined how to make that happen either, but. They roll it in cornflake crunched up. Right. Like they take the cornflakes and they crunch up the cornflakes and they usually put like cinnamon sugar in with the cornflake mix and then they take like a scoop of ice cream and they roll it in the cornflakes and the cinnamon sugar and then they deep fry that. I always laugh when you go to like Winco and they have the Hispanic food section and they've got like the little packages of spices and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And then they have like their sweet section and they have it packaged just like the spices. I mean, they, they don't, they're no frills, man. Yeah. They're like a plastic spoon <laughs> that has been scooped into caramel, and then they wrap it with cellophane and a rubber band and package it that way. <laughs> not, at, not until they put some tahini on that uh, caramel. Why you know? don't you just sell a packet of sugar? Yeah. <laughs> you <Delicious>. know? <laughs> Well, didn't you eat rock? Was it rock sugar? Or the rock candy? Yeah. Rock candy? You know, that's where you. So, the way I. At least <laughs> this is, here, here's what a great influence my dad was. So, we went to Disneyland. Oh, God. And he insisted on driving, and on the way, we stopped at a ghost town amusement slash amusement park. Mm-hmm. And, um, really cool place. I like. I actually got to hold Wyatt Earp's real pistol and Doc Holliday saw it off shotgun. They had all of that set up and it was really cool. And he bought a bottle of rye whiskey. And then we got home and he's like, well, we can't have any of the rye whiskey until, I was like eight. <laughs> we can't have any of the rye whiskey until we make some rock candy. And I'm like, okay, so why? And he's like, because you, that's how you do it. That's rock candy and <laughs> rock candy and rye whiskey. And so he showed me how to make rock candy, which is really simple: it's sugar and water and a string. Right. And um, and yeah, we made lots of sugar. Whole, lots of sugar. <laughs> and we made we made rock candy, <laughs> and um, and and that was my first taste of, of whiskey, and it burned a lot. Mm-hmm. And I loved it. <laughs> rock candy, <laughs> to this day, I love it. I'm more of a Canadian whiskey fan, or Irish myself, but rye, that's good stuff. So, my wonderful upbringing from the late 70s, early 80s. Don't worry, I didn't wait to smoke my first cigarette until I was 14. (laughs) (laughs) You know. um, I started at 16. Right? I started and ended in the same cigarette. Good call. Yeah. Really good call. Like hacking cough for about thirty minutes afterwards. Like, yeah. Oh, so no. smooth. What the hell is this? Shit for? Oh yeah, it took me forever to get used to doing that oh and my make God. myself do it so that it would become a habit and I would be cool. <laughs> I didn't do it to be cool. I just did it because it was there. Yeah. There was no peer pressure. There was no nothing. My yeah, parents had a party and. Uh, they hadn't cleaned up yet, and I went down into our game room where they had a pool table and whatnot, and there was a pack, half pack of cigarettes in there. I was like, I'm taking them. <laughs> Mine. Mine. Yoink. <clears throat> so, 
Uh, welcome to Dungeon of the Mad Mage. We are live from <coughs> Going Gaming and Grubbing Grog in Trapdale, Oregon. And uh, they are fighting to get through the pandemic and stay open. And plus, we've had some issues with wildfires down here. And so we have a uh, tile. If you scroll down in Twitch, you'll see a tile for Help Save Go and Gaming. We have GoFundMe going. We realize that everybody is feeling the financial crunch. Uh, but if you could donate anything, we would really appreciate it. And we also have a link uh, tile down there for TNC, and that is Talon and Claw. They are purveyors of beautiful wooden DM screens and dice vaults and leather dice trays and all manner of beautiful products, all handmade right here in the Pacific Northwest. <clears throat> if you use code GOINGAMING in all capital letters, you will receive 10% off your purchase on their Etsy store. And in turn, they will kick back 10% to the shop to help us get through. We're all trying to help each other. Where we left off last week, you guys had, um, you had found Arcturia's library. And when you went in there, two things happened. So, well, first you found uh, her private chambers and there was, you discovered a secret door at the back of her private chambers. And in the middle of her private chambers <coughs> is a life-size statue of a dwarf in plate armor. And when you open the secret door at the back of her private chambers, the dwarf turned into a rock wall that is impervious to damage. And then uh, Shamish stepped wildly and wantonly into the room and triggered a true polymorph trap that turned him into a wyvern and he then attacked the party and you put down Shamish. But he wasn't really dead. He very, was just, very effective. He was just unconscious. Yeah, you beat him like a real red edged <laughs> yeah. stepchild. Yeah. I kind of feel like you guys have been waiting to do that for like a year. <laughs> <laughs> so I put together uh, this dungeon. Um, this is a pretty exact model of the section that you are in right now. Um, of course, there's not ever enough tiles to do <laughs> something this size. Never. So um, beyond this, we'll just use it as a battle map. So in this, uh, you, you guys revive um, Shamish. And um, wake him up. What if we, what if we run around the wall? He goes over, stomps on the plate, and says, "This is where it happened." Right? Yeah, right here. Did he right find some kind of demon statue with a spell book in its hands? So yes, you, you. There is a statue of a Nalfeshni demon, and it is holding out uh, a book bound in human skin. And oh, it, it change appearance too? And it, it changes appearance every day. And uh, it was, or is, um, um, Arcturia's spell book. And Cancel was going over that. Uh, Cancel, make an Arcana check. That's a weird book. 25? Okay. Oh. On the inside cover of the book, you find written in Draconic. I can read. You, can you read Draconic? No. I can read no? Draconic. The, 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 the dragon board. So the word in Draconic is Palimpest. Anthony gonna say it aloud. Palimpest. Pest. Or, I'm sorry, Palimpsest. Yeah, Palimpsest. Um, so you two are dealing with that. Um, I imagine the clerics were probably dealing with Anthony. So, um, 
Is the trap still active? Can someone else step on it? No, the trap is not active. I think it's just a ward. So Telfar and Aaron mm -hmm. make um, perception checks. Twenty-six. I'm taking ten. <laughs> Four. Twenty-one. Okay, so you both get it. You find another secret door just beyond where Shamish stepped on the track. Okay, that does it. So we have to use a pickaxe on every wall from here on out. There's going to be secret doors in every room. You've got to make the perception check in the hallway, in the secret room. We might not make all the perception checks, so let's just pickaxe through the, all the walls, the floor. I can pickaxe fast, but not that fast. And if we don't find anything, it'll at least toss all money to our car. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will walk over to the door and listen at it first. Okay. See if there's air blowing around the cracks or edges, and then search for the mechanism. You do not feel any air blowing around the, the seams. Um, you you both were able to determine that there's a door here uh, <clears throat> straight. There is like an almost imperceivable seam, and you notice a slight discoloration between where the door is and where the rest of the wall is. Search using uh, Magister Gloop Glass. Standard method for opening secret doors, volume three. Mm -hmm. We will go and look for all of the typical means for you know, like rotating a sconce or pushing a, pulling a little book out of a book. Is it like a medicine cabinet where you just poke it and it pops out? Yeah. Yeah, push on <laughs> you push on it and the spring loaded thing pops it open. Did you check out? Uh, yes, we must have the dragonborn lick it. Yeah. Carl, did you lick check out door? chapter three? Hmm? Chapter three, did you check that one out? <laughs> Subsection two. <laughs> you don't find any way for, to open this door. Well, we could just make it a permanent open door. Pickaxe! Yeah, we can make a way to open it. <laughs> okay. All right. Magic users, do your thing. See if there's a. See if it's magic. You dispel it. Ah, can you dispel it some ish? Knock the frickin' thing. I can only lock things even better. <laughs> <laughs> cancel, the, can, cancel the arcane lock on it. Make an in, uh, or, or, uh, cancel. Make an insight check. Top uh, twenty. I have previously given you the means to open this door. We need a fiber. Ah, you're making me check my notes here, Chris. Previously given us the means to open the door. I have to sacrifice someone. Hold on. Did you come across a pickaxe and not tell us? Pour some of that cheap wine from the crystal decanter on it. <laughs> just, why just spark it? Go one of the hands. We have any strange obsidian uh, figurines in the bag of holding that we could throw at it? I don't know. Just throw everything we have at it. Hope something works. <laughs> just hold the bag of holding out and shake the bag at it. You're just pulling something everything from your inventory yep. and touching it. Just <laughs> <laughs> I'll go back and look at one of those hands that's holding up the, uh, the flames and whatever has got the eternal flame cast on it. Stick that so you can't get to there because of the rock wall, right? We're in the darkness now. Uh, no, this room is lit. Um, it does. It has like. Uh, Candles and uh, you know that are lit with continual flame spells, but uh, that's it. Oh. Did the 
chicken naked in here? Yes. Shot for the jam. Well, I uh, don't have anything in our list of loot that we haven't already sold for profit. All we have in the group loot bag is five rubies, the stone curse lid mirror trunk, mm -hmm. and the expensive fancy crystal decanter full of cheap wine. You're the spellbook guy. You're close. Well, the spell book does contain every spell known to level 7th and 8th wizards. Does it have a knock spell? Wait, wait, wait. Flip open to the knock spell and read it. Oh, what's up there? A word where it's a moment inside the cover. You just can't read Draconic. Freaking useless wizard. Anybody know what this says? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll translate. Uh, The word in draconic is palimpsest. 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 Okay. Because you're supposed to rub it with a piece of paper on the charcoal. This door opens up, and when that door opens up, the rock wall goes down. What did you say? Palimpsest? It's a portmanteau of a paladin and incest? Oh. <laughs> nope, nope, no, disagree. No, no, <laughs> so the 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 rock the secret door slides open and the rock wall goes back to being a dwarf statue. So does anybody know how that happened? Because I was yucking it up when whatever. It, maybe the trap side. What's that word you said mean? Uh what's that word you said mean? <laughs> You know Draconic? Hey, what does that mean? Uh, it's probably just one of those I got like words. a C and an A <laughs> in Draconic, so uh, I'm, not, I'm not very smart with that. I can read, I don't know what they mean though. <laughs> <laughs> you can sound it out. I only understand style. this word and the words previous to it. In this small side chamber, standing on a pedestal, is a small box, looks like it could be a jewelry box, that is made of purple crystal with uh, platinum on the edges and down into little clawed feet. That is the box. I am going to crush that. That's a phylactery. Yeah, we're going to crush it. we got to crush it. I want, I want to crush it. I want to crush it with this mic. Okay, go ahead and make your attack check. Or your attack roll. I'm hitting it with a... I'm gonna hide. As soon as I see him pulling his weapon, I'm gonna be all like, oh, snap. Nat 20 for a 30... 32. Her, her hide is just pulling her... her yep. Pull my hood on. Yep. yep. Hood's on. I'm going to... Put a lamp sheet over here, right? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. No, it's too late for him. Yeah, no, it's too late. <laughs> you cannot convince me. Uh, I'm doing a level one thunder smite. All right. I'll just say, uh, I know, I know. <laughs> the thing probably I like should be, that would increase my... Oh, uh, is it just like 25? No, 24. So, yes. That'd be fun. You bring your flame tongue sword down like on top of so it, 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 this it. purple crystal box. <laughs> and when, when you strike it, your smite goes into the box and there is an explosion. Do I need to make a deck save? I'm good at those. I'm also good at those. If it's fire, then I'm good at that. Somebody could buy my polar bear hand fight at the same time. Yes. I've forgotten that you have a polar bear. You take 11 points of force damage, and your flame tongue sword shatters into a million pieces. No! <laughs> and the box is completely unharmed. Oh, I was going to say, it was a, you know, it's worth it to uh, destroy the pounds of the factory, but. Not my good sword. But you just threw your no. good sword away, man. <laughs> Can I try to open the box? Get your soul sucked in, squad? Yeah. You go to try and 
I open the box, the and just the like second that you touch the, the box <laughs> behind you, I'm just like, no. I'm just all, like paladins on the floor. Behind. You hear I'm very good about my choice to hide. The <laughs> now Feshni statue come to life. Oh the one that was holding the book. Hey guys, right. I don't have a weapon. Last time you did something like this, you ended up with a different heart. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Everybody roll initiative. That was one time. Oh, one time. Yeah, one time. Anthony, does Shemish have, 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 have any weapons now? <laughs> well, I have a dagger. dagger. Just a dagger? I can I have I have so many weapons. Um <laughs> Oh yeah, you've do you want do you want a lightsaber? Be all like catch, or, bro. Or or or, or a, a, a a mace that hates demons. Well, first we have to roll initiative. Oh, like yeah. Yeah. We're probably going to have to get this Wait, one or the other. Wait a minute. Just throw it. I mean, I can catch it. She's the force to pick up the lightsaber. I just, I just, I just, the god gives me for the force now. I'm just crushing things with my hands. Can you figure out how long would it take out the Lord of Darkness? Like, what's the time frame? Like, what's the Quite some time, and you there's no real way for you to guarantee that. Um, you don't know that the sword would actually be magical after this. Probably. Still, probably a good high quality sword. Maybe. <laughs> is, is it like shattered, so none of it's left, or is it like a stone? You, you have a, you have the. Pommel. I believe the handle. Yeah, the blade is it just a million pieces. What yeah. if I cast the mending spell? Yeah, you can break two shards stick together. Yep. That's why it takes so And then do it again. And again. <laughs> again. Oh, right. and again. Yeah. That's a good thing mending is a cantrip. Shamish, what'd you get? My earring. I forgot. I was just, you know, mentally crying about my soul. <laughs> that, that is literally like one of the better weapons. So, Anthony, the question I'm asking you is do you want a sword that's Drow's, drow hates, or do you want a mace that demon and undead hate? Do you have mending as a cantrip? Yes. Yeah. You can try mending on your turn. I got 21. Probably okay. after um, Aaron has this combat. combat. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What'd you get, Aaron? Sit yeah. down and be like, all right. Try and puzzle piece it. Narate, what'd you get? I got a 19. <coughs> See, here's the good thing about this. I can still put spikes on literally anything. I can put it on this guy. Uh, six. A six? Yeah. Uh, what's the other one? Roll the two. It's the worst thing I can roll. A lightsaber. Three. Uh, 20 and two. A, light, a lightsaber. Yeah. 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 Ye
<laughs> no. <laughs> so, so Thrick goes uh, laser hands and messes with the guiding bolt. Yep. It's just a teeny bit of light on there. That'll work. Shamish, what would you like to do? If there's a little tiny nub on there, I'd put Divine Smite on that stab. It is, the weapon is destroyed. <coughs> Use the group as an improvised car. Put Divine Smite on your shield. Is that good? I could. Yeah. So it would be an improvised weapon. I mean, do you have Shield Master as your to the feet? No. Be an improvised weapon attack, but if you hit, it, you could do a smite. I, I, I almost got I almost got shield that thing, but I chose to get like, more initiative. Probably a good a good choice. Except in this case where you don't have a weapon. You don't have any other weapon. I have a dagger. <laughs> Make you know that you know like dagger that ritual dagger that was from the snake area. Yeah, he's got resistance, but he he'll still take some damage. Do it to what? Slashing damage. Piercing and slashing. And bludgeon, and fire, and cold, and lightning. <laughs> <laughs> Except fire? He doesn't have <coughs> fire resistance? He has, he has resistance to cold, fire, lightning, bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing from non-magical effects. Oh. And he is immune to poison. Mm. Uh, you can take, he can take a divine smite. Sure yeah, if you hit with your dagger, you can throw a divine smite on her. And a blast. Wait, wait, wait. You took, you took the uh, mace, right? Yeah. Okay. But he's, he I'll, I'll, I'll the give you now. the stats for that. So you're throwing him a mace? I'm throwing him my uh, anti-demon mace. You have an anti-demon mace? Basically, yeah. It's the... Uh, I'll break his kneecaps. Uh, mace of Disruption. Okay, so Disruption isn't a dance demon. That's it is an undead. The last one. Is the thing I so specifically, I like this maze. Maze of disruption um, is one of those items that every person who who wants to play high level content in Dungeons Dragons Online, the first thing that you go looking for is the maze of disruption because everything's in there. Um, I'm gonna break his kneecaps. I'm gonna break his kneecaps and ask uh, you his Oh, no, no, no. When you hit a fiend or an undead with this magic weapon, that creature takes an extra 2 to yeah, 6 radiant damage. That's what I thought. If the target has 25 hit points or fewer after taking this damage, it must succeed on DC 15 wisdom saving throw or be destroyed. Damn. <laughs> it's, 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 wow, they it's made a mace of disruption quite a bit more powerful. Um, yeah. Make Press attack. those fiends up! Yeah, so you're throwing uh, Divine Smite on it and another Smite? Lightning Smite. Okay, go ahead and make your attack. That's also make your attack. And we'll be going. Thanks for calling. Ooh, yes, that's definitely. Now, here's the kicker he does have advantage on the, on the same. <laughs> 25. Yeah, that hits. So, a mace does 1d or 1d8? It does 1d8, but it also has the 2d6. Right, so 1d8 plus your strength modifier plus 2d6 plus your divine smite <laughs> plus your improved smite plus your blinding smite. Uh, it's like my own sword's back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but 2d6, the d8. Yeah, except that it only does damage the next fiends are in debt. Yeah. So my, my sword's just a better version of this. But oh, fine, it's fire. But this can banish them, right? Or whatever? No, destroys them. Oh, yeah. I mean, which is essentially the same thing, because if a demon is destroyed in the material plane, it reforms in the abyss. They're just playing around. Show. That's why they lose so often. Like, uh, yeah, they don't care. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a video game. It, this is their avatar. Yep. Sometimes the the more oh, sense God, this is ones out there just so they can. It's such low level things too. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I got a bunch of sixes. This is cursed. 
course, when they go back, there's like, gosh, dang it. Thank you. Oh, I, I was talking about that, but my friend. I didn't know what two handed sword would fit there. <laughs> oh, my. Yep. That's what I always wondered in WoW. Oh, oh, 56 damage. In World of Warcraft, you kill a, a wolf and it drops like a two handed great sword. You're like, where's the wolf keeping that? <laughs> Poor dog. <laughs> That's why it's in a bad mood. No wonder it's attacking everybody. Uh, Constipated with a sword. Kind of in I, you have it. Oh. Okay. Um, what kind of save does he get against uh, the boing on the spike? I believe it's a constitution save. I think you're right, but. <laughs> Constitution? He has advantage on any uh, magical effect. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> that's what is this? Everyone put this up. Is really yeah, it's a constitution, say, constitution saving throw. What's your spell save? It's your lifeline. You don't want to lose it. Jeez. 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 That was my promo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I got three of them now. Oh, and then I have another one. 24 to save. So he's not blind, but you you definitely did some damage to him. Your next attack. Oh yeah, that's right, I have a second attack. Yeah.
Liam, give me the um, radiant damage first. Okay, uh, that's 18, 24 radiant damage. Okay, so you will take 12 radiant damage, Thrick will take 24. And, and then, then the fire um, 10 fire damage. So you will take 2 fire damage, <laughs> and Thrick will take 10. What was that? You burned my finger. so <laughs> far. <laughs> Was that uh, yeah, that, uh, you did a, yeah, quite a bit of damage to him. You're like the Down the grafter, so, uh, 140 versus 140. The, now, Feshni. These are more for, like, uh... You should just get one of those boxes. Hey, look, attack me, attack the cleric. <laughs> attack the cleric, who wants that's to kill you? That bosses so need to be smart, smart and go for the mix. Like, so. That's how they win. Clerics and paladins are both legitimate targets. Yes. Take the damage dealers out and take the healers Because that's their biggest threat, really. Well, because they hate you. Yeah, they hate you and also clerics are just basically kind of designed to kill demons. I mean, the holy clerics. Yeah, it used to be that they were all pretty good, but now you got the bad clerics. Yeah. I'm a light cleric too, so I yeah, get like extra radiant damage. Yeah, you're. And uh, they don't like, like you at all. Yeah. They should have so. Out of the, uh, from emanating from the Nelfeshni, no, is a scintillating multicolored light. Everybody needs to make a DC 15. Uh, wisdom check? saving throw, or oh. be frightened for one minute. Okay, I'm good. Do I get advantage on that for being a halfling? Advantage on fear saves? Yep. Huh? Okay, that's a five. Uh, no, really close. So you saved and you are immune to uh, the horror nimbus for 24 hours. I assume that uh, 26 will make it? Yep, you are immune to horror nimbus for 24 hours. Thank you. You're immune. 19, we're burning a love point. You're immune. 28. You're immune. Mm -hmm. What are we doing? Make a DC 15 with the saving throw. If it's not going to make a... 19. You are immune. What? Okay. You actually better Don't treat cancer. But his rolls are... Then... He's my friend. Uh, Translucent? I think you got it there. It well, is going to, it then really gets to make three voice. attacks. Hmm. One with its bite and two with its claws. A smite? Bite. bite. Oh, bite. It's, it's it, a demon has to smite. I mean, makes sense. We're all off the What the heck? Is it is going to attempt to bite thread. Yeah, it's an elder tree. I'm the one that you I want to go back to that. 25. Oh, I'm going to roll 70 D6s now. Claws. Matt, sure I got that. Uh, kind of. Okay, differently than you do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at five. Five times? Yeah, when I get hit by my or teammates more than I get hit by the enemy. Thank you. That, that's true, right? Yeah, uh, friendly fire. Sad. <laughs> friendly fire is the best kind of fire, really. Uh, Eric, what would you like to do? I think this, this guy is very rude to break into this uh, break into our party uh, and shoot her at some high Okay. Yeah, you can do that. So first thing, oh wait, I'm not, I'm not using the machine. I'm doing this. Uh, 
he needs to, he's got a 20, he's got to do a deception to match the 20. Okay. That's my bonus action. And deception is a... Uh, 17. Charisma. So he failed. Alright. So, I... So here's the thing. If you use your bow, because of Threk, uh, where he is, the size of the quarter, you're going to be at disadvantage. However, um, how big is this thing? He's about the same size as Threk, so they're kind of filling up this corridor. Or this room. I mean, you can still make it. No problem. Uh, the arrows are cheap. Yeah. Are you the wrong one? Hey, you so is Thrip. So. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never hit Thrip with an arrow. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you might be lucky. Alright, let's see. Five plus seven. So that's a 14. That is a mess. Alright. Keep on with that one. And I'm shooting that Thrip. I'm done. Okay. Do you want to use. Oh, you already used your practice. Telfer, what would you like to do? i snipe something. That's what I do. So what was your high check? 32. Oh, well then. <laughs> if we're talking 30, is uh, almost impossible to see. Just kidding. Um, Did he see you? Yeah. Okay. Um, Did he see you? He doesn't even know the halfway. And a 32 to hit. Yeah, that hit. I'm rolling 76 this time because I got better sneakies. Well, I should probably. 76 dice? I forgot to roll advantage to see if I got a 20, but I did not. Oh, I see. <clears throat> Those are nice dice. Those are nice dice. I just bought them. I can't get nice enough dice because I'll probably lose 35 damage. Yikes. Okay. And I will use my bonus action not to hide, but to sing a little song to my friend here. <laughs> now you're inspired. <laughs> I don't know what that inspires you to do. <laughs> It's a halfling's inspiration. What would you like to do? Seven. I actually do use my d6, if you're wondering. I use my five. Oops. Come on, do you need more dice? Huh? No. I'm good. Just bring more d6. Or there's literally a container over there with like 20 I have this entire bag of, full of dice that I bring to every session. <laughs> but I only use two sets. <laughs> Ever. Yeah, why not? Too many opaque dice that roll like crap. I'm like, no. I need to I, see what's I need to inside see, you. Right, I need to see through the dice so that I know that you're not messing with me. <laughs> yeah, no bubbles. I have two opaque D20s. They're identical. When I roll them inside of three rolls, I can tell you which one is which. They are that bad. Wow. One always rolls 15 to 20, the other one always rolls between 1 and 8. <laughs> How much for the one that rolls 15 to 20? <laughs> <laughs> I keep it for special occasions. Like bosses when you're playing the bar? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would be nice today. Oh, look at the nat 20. Oh. I forgot to take out my spell pad. Oh, I just assumed you'd be casting fireball, but I mean. Oh. First, I still don't have fireball. Oh. You don't have fireball? No. Well, I'm sure that it's in her book. Yeah. 
Yeah, but I don't want it. They were supposed to be for the machine. How could you not I want Spider-Man? Because we're more chain lightning. Good choice, man. Good choice. No, no one's that either. Chain lightning is like my favorite spell in ever. Yeah. Especially if you're a sorcerer and you How twin you cast Treasure chain points. lightning. Do I? <laughs> Because no. there's eight Aww. people you just electrocuted. That's my bag of treasure coins. Well, what is it? It's a lot of treasure coins. coins. Yeah, I got a lot of gold and trade coins is for a lot of people. Hello. A what? Like, is there a dual wheel in the cake or a sword? Yeah. 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 Y